Tell us, you, you, you have planes going there. What are their roles going to be? Well, actually, we have deployed uh, four F-15 fighters to Sicily, and they had just been in a mission towards Libya today. Um, I was very happy on Friday, just, you know, uh, one, 24 hours after the, the Security Council uh, decided to, to pass a resolution. I managed to have the Danish parliament to pass a similar resolution saying that we could deploy flights, and, of course, we could do whatever we... We can to protect the civilian population in Libya. Why was it important for Denmark to be involved? Uh, because we think when we have the UN Security Council to say that the international society should, should do something to prevent uh, Gaddafi to do something to the Libyan people, of course we should be part of that. And therefore I'm very proud that, of course, we have US, we have France, we have UK, but now we are actually fourth in line. Uh, doing something and we have had our flights uh, up in the air this afternoon and, and they came back very successfully so I'm very happy about that. Are, are, are you confident that the mission as it has been outlined to Denmark is one that is about uh, protecting civilians and not ultimately being involved via supporting a, a revolt? Well actually I, I think it's very important for us and it was very important for the parliament that this is about protecting the civilians. And I think we have to bear in mind that this is, I think it's the first time that we had the UN Security Council being that clear in, in asking the, the international society to protect the civilians and, and you know, create a no-fly zone and do whatever they can to make sure that Gaddafi is not killing his own. But is there a, a difficulty, do you think, uh, uh, just playing devil, devil's advocate, there, there is no declared policy, really, is there, of what to do if the rebels counterattack, well, I'm I'm quite well. I know that in NATO they are having the discussions right now about what can actually happen uh, after the first attack. Uh, but what, from from a Danish perspective, what we decided is that we would be like to be in the forefront. Therefore, we are quite happy uh, about being uh, under U.S. command right now, and we hope that you know at the end of the week. NATO will be the one controlling the, the military mission and, and there will be a lot of other countries who are supporting to, to protect the civilians in Libya. Yeah, are you uh, among those who would be very keen to see Arab aircraft in the skies over Libya to uh, just add a little bit more uh, to this mission? Actually, yes, I think it's very important that we also have the region to support this. Uh, and, uh, well, as far as I'm, confirmed, uh, well, I'm informed, uh, we will, during the next days, you also will see aircrafts from the region who will uh, try to protect civilians in Libya, yes.